Hi, I'm Jason and uh, welcome to the Pre-Algebra Tutor and in this section we're going to cover division of integers which is just as important as knowing how to multiply them or add them or subtract them. You have to know how to multiply and you have to know how to divide in algebra. And so we have our positive and our negative numbers and so we're going to learn how to divide them in this section. Now I'm going to tell you this section is pretty easy because we've already learned how to multiply integers. The rules, as is, is you see, are pretty simple. You just look at the signs and you stick a negative or a positive on the sign of the answer, depending on what you had multiplied together. Well, I told you and kind of gave you a preview, um, and so I'll tell you again here, division of integers really follows the exact same rules as multiplying of integers. So once you know those rules, and you already know them, then dividing integers is very easy because you've already done it before. And so just to recap, when you were doing your division, basically, I'm sorry, when you were doing your multiplication, basically, if, um, if you had the same sign, like positive times positive or negative times negative, Basically, you always stuck a positive uh, in the answer. Uh, and if you had different signs, then if you had different signs like positive times negative or negative times positive, the answer was always negative. And it's going to be exactly the same for division. In division, if you have the same signs uh, that you're dividing, you know, 4 divided by 2, that's the same sign, or negative 4 divided by negative 2, those are the same sign, the answer is going to be positive, just like in multiplication. If the signs are different, then the sign of your answer is going to be negative, just like in multiplication. So let's go ahead and write that down. But before we get there, we'll do what we did just, just in the last section, and we'll write down a few different ways that you might see multiplication. The way that you, you've seen it up until now is something like, you know, 4 divided by 2. Okay? It's 2. Now, you don't see this much. Not used much. And the reason it's not used much is just because this symbol is kind of cumbersome. You, you, you see, we've been using parentheses and other things uh, and, and so far, and just to have, write the symbol down is just kind of, it's kind of messy. So you're not going to see it too much in algebra, but I'm just kind of letting you know that's one way that you can write it, uh, division. Another way you can write division is when you have 6 and divided by 3, um, you might say that that's equal to 2. This symbol is what you've used a lot growing up learning how to divide, and that's fine. That's, that's a division symbol, but you'll almost never see this in algebra. Just because, again, this big symbol gets in the way and all that stuff, and it's just not something you're going to, to see a lot. Um, what you will see in algebra a lot is, is basically like a fraction. 10 divided by 2 is written as a fraction. If you remember back, and we're going to cover fractions ourselves here pretty quickly, but if you remember back to your basic fractions, a fraction is basically like a division. This bar here is basically telling you that you're supposed to take 10 and divide it by 2. And so you'll see that a lot in algebra. You'll see large fractions with something on top and something on bottom. That means division. It is also a fraction, but don't forget fractions are just division anyway. That's basically what they are. So this is a different way to write these things. I mean, you might see this occasionally, but you'll see something like this a lot more. So as far as the rules go of how to divide these things, um, what I'm going to do is write them uh, in a different, in a couple of different cases. So let's say case one, which is sort of the same way we did it last time. Uh, we have, let's say we have the same sign in the numerator and the denominator. Now, uh, don't let these, these words uh, scare you. Numerator means the top number in your fraction. Denominator means the bottom number in your fraction. So if we have the same 